Firewalk Studios, the development game that is owned by PlayStation Studios and is developing the upcoming Hero Team Shooter Concord, has responded to the massive backlash the game got after it released a trailer during a recent PlayStation State of Play presentation. And it seems to confirm rumors that they're just shrugging the backlash off. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com yesterday evening. And let's just kind of go over uh, some of the initial backlash. We had Firewalk Studios' Kim Crines, Cranes. She is the director of IP. And she revealed a number of the characters for the game, including one off that is this uh, weird looking robot uh, character right here. Vale, Lennox, Amari, and more. Each of the characters, each of the characters that, the, that uh, she shows off features the character's name, its role, and then preferred pronouns. You can see right here, Amari, the role is anchor and then has pronouns right there. Many of the characters have clearly been created to adhere to woke DEI character designs. One should, such character is Amari, who is an obese black woman. You can see her on the screen right there. Another one of the characters named Lark has undecided in the location where the other characters' is a pronoun, preferred pronouns are. On top of this, Crimes also said this in here. You can see Lark right here on the screen. You can see it says undecided next to a tactician there. On top of this, Crying said this, every character brings their own unique personality skills and wide ranging perspectives to the crew. Every week when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters, stories and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. So in my opinion, it's not hard to imagine that the game uh, <laughs> will be pushing all kinds of disordered and degenerate lifestyles through these cinematic vignettes, given it already has these uh, pronouns listed on the screen. So they're already pushing transgender ideology. They're pushing this idea that men can become women, women can become, be, can become men, and uh, they're pushing lying uh, because that is what transgender ideology is at, uh, at its core. It is a lie because... Uh, Men cannot become women. Women cannot become men. It's just not possible. No matter what kind of pills and medical operations they perform, it's impossible to do that. And so people were rightfully displeased with this and bashed the game. Uh, YouTuber and Demian, I think, summed a lot of it up here in his post. Uh, obviously, we're responding to uh, Manga Lawyer here who says they finally literally a playable tank. And obviously pointing to the Amari character. Uh, but Endemian said, PlayStation's new Kuro 5v5 PvP shooter Concord is full of diverse character designs. And they even have their pronouns listed below their name. See top right. And then he questioned, who is this game for exactly? That is a, a wonderful question there. And then following this rumor, we actually got, a, uh, or excuse me, following the presentation and the backlash to it, we got, we got a rumor from former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern, a.k.a. Grums, and he detailed that Firewalk Studio was shrugging off uh, the backlash. He posted this PlayStation-owned studio. Firewalk Studios has heard your complaints about Concord and ignored them. Sources tell me internal emails show the Concord team is shrugging off the criticism of their characters as white noise and dismissing it very much in their own bubble. Uh, he then uh, posted this. He says, meanwhile, their trailer has over 44,000 dislikes and their lead character designer bashes white folks and is rumored to be the one who pushed for the character lineup to be super woke. They are in for a rude surprise. Meanwhile, Sony will be forcing PC players to register for PlayStation Network with this game and barring it from sale in 177 countries. Vote with your wallets, he said. So now we have Kim Crines addressing the backlash she spoke with uh, VGC uh, amidst a media blitz for the game. number of outlets were given a chance to demo the game and play a number of its um, gameplay options. And uh, alongside that, she said this. Yeah, that trailer, that moment is such a tiny slice of everything that we've been working on for years and years. We're excited for the game and for the IP 
and for the game to be in people's hands, the IP to be in people's minds. I'm personally very excited for the IP for folks to delve into the Galactic Guide if that is something they choose to do. For these vignettes to come out on a weekly basis, you'll start to fall in love with the depth of the characters. That's something that you learn week to week. Their personalities will unfold. Their relationships will unfold for you. Their backstories. None of that is something uh, that you can get in a tiny little slice of it. But that's a start. There's something there. So I'm glad folks watched it. I'm glad they participated. And I can't wait for them to see more, to see everything that is there. So I think this 100% confirms the rumor from Grums that these people are just shrugging it off. They're kind of full bore, hoping that more and more people will be into these vignettes, into the character stories that they're going to be trying to tell through this uh, 5v5 uh, team hero shooter that they have. And they think this is really something that is going to make them stand out. Um, these woke, diverse uh, characters, the characters that are designed uh, this is what they think is going to make them stand out. This is what literally every AAA video game developer has been doing for the last couple of years. This does not make you stand out. This just makes you one more cog in the machine. Uh, and it just, uh, it's ugly. Like these character designs are ugly. In fact, we were treated to a new one, another one. This is Daw, another DEI inspired character. Uh, and uh, he is apparently a tactician and uh, he uses the uh, quote unquote he him pronouns. It looks like a gender confused individual to me. Would not be surprised if this person uh, is uh, quote unquote transgender. But this is what you're going to get from Concord. Ugly character designs, uh, gender politics. Uh, and it's just who wants this? Who wants this? As Endymion said, who is this made for not for me not for me uh and uh the fact that these people are not actually taking the backlash seriously i think shows uh that they're not a serious company but uh, let me know what you guys make of this let me know in the comments below remember to always be charitable especially to each other but to always speak the truth